Okay, everybody, welcome back to the show. It's me, Hopeless. And, uh, so, we're hunting going? down Itachi. Gonna defeat him in, you know, boss battle mode or whatever. Uchiha hideout. Uchiha hideout. Uchiha hideout. Just settle this once and for all. You got. You got an advanced lightning kunai, paralyzing stinger. Yeah, I don't have that. Later. Is that one of your birds spying on me? To get out of here. something over here but I guess there's nothing. I don't mind coming along, but where on earth is the Uchiha hideout? It's probably uh, sealed behind that boulder. What are you looking at? Is there something in that direction? Yes. Release. Release. Uh, didn't expect to find a passage here. Really? I mean, considering that, uh, you know, pretty much everywhere else we've gone, there's been passages just like it. You'd need Uchiha blood to find that one. I don't know how that works. It is not like you saw me cut myself and throw some blood on the rock or something. Let's go. the rest of you wait here hmm? all right besides we were only traveling as a cell in order to prevent interference you three wait here now then kisame hoshigaki and the, the broad sword known as sharks, sharks. Yeah. Hmm? how do you know that have you forgotten the younger brother of Nangetsu Hozuki? Sugetsu, Sugetsu Hozuki? Ah, you sure have grown, Suigetsu. What do you say about a little star? Waiting around for Sasuke to return will be a bit of a bore. Care to play around with me? You're quite impetuous, unlike your brother. But I'll grind the fight right out of you. Of course, if your friends would like to join in, they're more than welcome. <laughs> I want this so bad I can taste it. Let's kick this off already, Master Kisame. I don't know who would win in a fight, Suigetsu or Kisame. That's a tough call. Both water style users, both wielding you know, one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist blades, except for, you know, uh, Kisame's can steal chakra, and, well, Kisame, he's not made of water, so, yeah, that's a tough one. Go! <laughs> Butter style, Wonder Dragon Jutsu! This 
is it. Here we go. Well, you're better than I expected. I'm gonna take that broadsword of yours. Take my shark skin, eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, you still aren't powerful enough for that. It seems like the shark skin only wants to, you know, it only wants to be wielded by certain people, you know, that either, well, I guess it has to. Well, it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing. Like it has to be a person with the enormous chakra for one, and another. You know, I, I'm not sure. Like if uh, you have to defeat, you know, its master, or I don't know how that works. Because I know, uh, like I think it ended up betraying him and working for you know Killer B, which. It was kind of weird, because, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't remember Killer B, did he, did he want the shark skin, or, I can't remember how that worked. I mean, I, I just figured it probably, uh, only wants to be wielded by people with, uh, enormous chakra, so, because, uh, you know, one of them is a Jinchu, Jinchu, damn it, that's hard to say, Jinchu Riki, and the other one is uh, just a kind of like a fish man, but with enormous amounts of chakra. What did you say? I said a fish man with enormous amount of chakra. I haven't gotten serious yet. Oh yeah, maybe you should do that then. <laughs> I truly wish I could, but sadly, I'm not allowed. Orders from up top. Up top? That's right. You kids will have to be told someday, too. What do you mean? It's all been set in motion, buddy. <laughs> Just you wait, Itachi Uchiha. Lazy nuts. Can I, I go don't back? Need to go. Nope. Items. some bento before we meet up with the uh, use bento sometimes medical but yeah before we meet up with each other come on I need a sting barb or whatever it's probably only something I can get from a mission or something high grade total oil. Mystic Rock. Dream Seed. There it 
kids. The Uchiha hideout. The Uchiha hideout. Itachi is in there. I was gonna say, it's not much of a hideout. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty big and, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, well, I guess the tr unless you were standing on a cliff, you would only be able to see it because, you know, people down below, they couldn't really see, you know, through the trees and stuff. The time to settle this has come. It looks pretty badass, though. I wish I had a house like that. Up on a mountain or something like that, with uh, those big stone pillars, and it looks like some kind of lookout, like a, almost like a lighthouse or something on the top up there. I'm ready. Itachi, I'll show you this hatred of mine. All of it. All of it. Not just a little bit, not just a medium amount. All of it. Today? It's always Shuriken. Why isn't it anything else? I'm busy. Why don't you ask Father? You're better at Shuriken Jutsu. Even I can tell that. Why do you always treat me like such a pest? Mm. Sasuke. That's because I'm older and I have more responsibilities. Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> Why? Why did you... If you want to kill me, then learn to hate me. Wow, that's one big tongue you got in your mouth. And one big mouth. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. There are plenty of things I hate, but I don't see that it matters, considering there's almost nothing I like. It seems pointless to talk about dreams. That's just a word. But what I do have is determination. See, his clothes back then were way cooler. I plan to restore my clan. And there's someone I have sworn. I wonder why he got rid of those uh, wristband things. Those, uh, those are kind of cool. To kill. Because if he taught you was trying his hardest, you'd die. He'd put you in the, you know, what you call. So you're here. The, you know, Izanami or whatever. Sasuke. Until you, you know, decide to, you know, I guess, you know, protect the leaf or something. I'm going to sever all ties with you. Or if you wanted to, you could probably just you know, use what you call, you know, the, well, I guess it's not ready yet, but, you know, he, he set that in motion to, to use the, uh, Koto Ama, Amatsukami. <laughs> you sound quite fired up. When I think that I'll be able to bury you here, power surges up inside me. Damn, the place looks like it's been beat up. There's been a lot of training going on here. <laughs> Bury me, hmm? What's with the stone chair? It looks like it'd be a little uncomfortable. Before that, I have one thing to ask. What could you want to know now? That night, the night you destroyed the Uchiha clan, did you really do that alone? Why would you think that? But no matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. Madara Uchiha. <laughs> so you realized. Who was it? Who helped you? Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Uchiha. One of the founders of the Hidden Leaf Village. And the mortal, and mortal man, man who is both, was my, both comrade my comrade and my, and my mentor. mentor. Actually, Obito was your mentor. A founder? Then how could he still be alive? 
Madara is alive. Whether you want to believe me or not is your choice. We're joking around. Every single one of us lives depending on and bound by our knowledge and awareness. I wonder if uh, Itachi reality. really knew Obito's, you know, identity, or did uh, you know he not know who he was? So you know, Obito was like, "I am Mother Uchiha." And he always just wore the mask and everything. I mean, I'm sh I mean, maybe uh, Itachi, or maybe he showed you know uh, Itachi his face, but I mean. If he did, you know, he'd be like, you know, why are you young on one side, but you look kind of old on the on your right side, you know? What's that about? However, both knowledge and awareness are equivocal. One's reality might be another's illusion. I guess he could just tell him he invented, like, some sort of immortality jutsu or something. Uh, what are you trying to say? That you thinking Madara is dead is just your arbitrary assumption. Your eyes haven't grasped a single truth. You don't see anything. It's true that I don't know anything about Madara. But there's one thing that even my eyes see just fine. I was gonna say, Madara was one tough son of a bitch, and he would have been tougher if he hadn't, you know, used that freaking, you know, uh, whatever, that jutsu to bring him back to life. I mean, he was tougher as a reanimated ninja. He was tougher, you know, before, you know, he became, uh, you know, the sage of the six paths. I mean, seriously, I mean, he was kicking ass. He, he created, like, 20... No, I think it was 25 wood clones, each using, you know, perfect Susano, you know, I mean, and he couldn't be killed. He was way stronger as a fucking reanimated ninja. Some people will say, oh, that's bullshit, you know, whatever, but I'm sorry, but as a reanimated, nin reanimated ninja, you have unlimited chakra. You could, you know, fucking just create a million wooden clone a million wood wood clones or whatever one for each you know fucking allied ninja or whatever hell you could have a million fight naruto he couldn't fight that many <laughs> and what do they see what i'm seeing right now itachi is, is you, you dead, dead at my, my feet, feet. Your feet, eh? Hey? Let's get to it. <laughs> Fireball two two. Fireball. 
Amaterasu. Amaterasu. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Kidding. Be gone with the thunder class. Herald your end. The death you had imagined for me? <gasps> no. You really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. Holy crap, what is that thing? Now it comes for real. Yeah. This is my trump card. Oh, oh shit. Susano. Susano. Oh, shit. Watch out, uh, for the movement of the Susano. Focus your attacks on Itachi's half-hearted attacks won't work. Instead, get close and attack over and over until you see the path to victory. Out of the way. Freaking two seconds. Running low on chakra. Did you think you've got some distance? Ah. I knew he'd eventually hit me with a damn rock. What the hell? I jumped. Shit. Ha! Ah, this is time. Oh shit, what's happening? Ah! Ow, rocks! Uh, no. How dare you? The curse mark. 
It finally shows itself. I can lend you power. Shit. No. More like a gallant gun. Gallant gun fire! The <laughs> sucky gotta you blue. The sword is sealing. Forever to be sealed in a drunken stupor. This is it. Sasuke, and now oh, shit. your eyes are mine. What are you saying? <sighs> Is there anything I can do? How can I defeat him? Uh. Give up. You lose. Shut up. <laughs> what should uh. I do? There's nowhere to run. Die, you bastard! Ah! You can't hurt me. Oh shit! What should I do? Uh, this I'm, is. How about this string of paper bombs? Fine. I'm desperate. Damn right, I'm desperate. Yeah. Damn it, I gotta wear him down. He's, he's just about to die. Oh shit. Working. No matter what yeah. you do, Let's it's punch pointless. It. I can't jump. My legs. Uh, I'll damn it. Stand down. Uh, damn it. It's over. Damn it! Is this the end? No. I won't let it end here. Uh. Yeah. Uh. No. Yes. Gather your chakra. My chunk. A mole. Where did it come from? My eyes. Stop! You can't have you my eyes. Are my light. No. Stay back. Ah. Get away from me. No, my eyes. Uh, what the? It's finally still weak. Big brother, let's go Honestly, home together. I guess there's no choice. Why would you You're pathetic, do something little like brother. this? Settle for hating me. You promised to teach me new shuriken jutsu. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Big brother, you're so far away. It's just the two of us. I'll always be with you, you know. Even if it's just for an op even if it's just an obstacle for you to overcome.
was all just a ruse. I really hope this rock doesn't fall on us. I treated your wounds. Itachi is dead. You won. We've met once before, although we were enemies then. Don't worry. I don't hold Daedara's death against you. I'm not your enemy. I brought you here in order to tell you something. Something? Yes. It's about Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> you think you know everything about your brother, but you actually don't. How do you know about Itachi? All right. I suppose I should start by introducing myself. I, like you, am an Uchiha survivor. And one of the few who know the truth about your brother. <gasps> I'm a thrust. If only he hadn't hit that arm. Well, I guess he could have just ripped that cloak off. Come to think of it, I guess that is what he did. Damn it, Itachi. Why didn't you think a little further, or think ahead? What was that? I mean, I guess, you know, he didn't know where the Amaterasu was going to go off. The mask, or... The Amaterasu, the, which Itachi well, seems to have implanted in you. I mean, hell, I guess... That wouldn't be a very, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> You'd think, uh, since it's such an intense fire, that, you know, it would burn through that cloak like, you know, just seconds, like, you know, just light everything on fire and just, you know, burn them to ash. Leave it to Itachi to set a post-mortem trap. Hey. I can't believe how well he plans ahead. How'd you get rid of the fire? I'm still wearing the cloak. What are you talking about? In order to keep me away from you, Itachi placed a jutsu in you. He really must have wanted to stop you hearing the truth from my lips. I guess he assumed that after after killing Itachi, you'd return home to the leaf, which that makes very little sense. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've lived as a rogue ninja for so long that, you know, I'd, I highly doubt you'd just go back and live a normal life. Itachi did something to you before he died. Plus, you know, I'm sure the, the Hidden Leaf Village has got a, like a warrant out for your arrest and stuff. At the very end, he transferred his own ocular powers. To you. What are you saying? Is there a point to all this? Why would Itachi do such a thing? Don't you get it? <gasps> he was trying. To protect you from the truth. To protect you. Protect me? Are you kidding? He's my enemy. He killed our parents, destroyed our clan, and he... I told you. You think you know about your brother, but you know nothing. Shut up! What do you know about Itachi? 
Itachi did mention it, did he not? He was not alone that night. <gasps> then you are... That's, That's right. right. I am Madara Uchiha. Am Madara Uchiha. <gasps> I know everything about Itachi. I know what he thought, what he wished, what he loved, and what he risked to fight. I killed his I know girlfriend. All of it. Your duty is to hear about the truth and life of Itachi Uchiha. He, Itachi fought me. He's tortured me for years. And it's a fact that he destroyed our clan. He destroyed the Uchiha. And if that were a mission he'd received from the Hidden Leaf Village? <laughs> That's just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. Uh, mission? You said? That's right. Itachi completed his assignment that night by slaughtering everyone. I still don't understand. <laughs> All ears now, I see. He, Itachi, ended up being a sacrificial pawn in a long-standing power struggle. Pawn. The Hidden Leaf Village. It is a large village now, but waves of history churn at its base. In particular, discrimination towards the Uchiha. Discrimination towards the Uchiha? That's right. Originally, the Hidden Leaf Village was formed by a group of ninja who'd previously been in conflict. That's not what the past looked like at all. And that is not what, you know, Madara's fan looked like. Seriously, you know, whoever drew that, you know, they did a terrible job. For some reason, you know, the first Hokage it looks like... I don't know, it looks like his torso is really wide and short. And then, you know... I don't know, Madara's fan is all fucked up looking, and I don't know, their bodies are just improportionate looking or something. And also, they didn't wear the same armor. Our Uchiha clan was among them. When the Hidden Leaf Village was founded, our clan held central power along with the other clans. But after we failed to take the seat of the first Hokage, the Uchiha gradually fell from power. I, the Uchiha leader, despaired at our fall, and at last, I left the village. After I'd gone, the Uchiha continued to lose power. And finally, they were treated as nuisances in the village. In the end, the Uchiha weren't needed. They were discriminated against. Of course, there were those who couldn't accept that. It's only natural. In order to retake power for the Uchiha, and above all else to regain their pride, they hatched a plan. A plan? To take over the Leaf Village with your father as leader. A coup d'etat, you could say. The Uchiha clan? A coup d'etat? And my... My father, the leader. The Hidden Leaf Village leaders caught wind of the plot and sent in a spy to watch the Uchiha clan. That spy was your brother. That spy was your older brother, Itachi, Itachi Uchiha. Uchiha. <laughs> the Uchiha clan or the Hidden Leaf Village. It's hard to imagine what Itachi felt as he chose between them. He ultimately chose the Hidden Leaf Village. Because if he had chose the Uchiha, it would lead to all-out war, and na neighboring nations would take advantage of the internal, er, internal strife. He chose correctly, but, you know, it came at a price. Why would Itachi betray the Uchiha? The Third Great Ninja War. What he saw made Itachi put the peace and stability of the village first. All wars are hell. Yeah, I won't disagree with the that. The village leaders took advantage of Itachi's feelings and gave him a mission. 
that mission. Was the eradication of the entire Uchiha clan. I mean, he had a choice, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> time, Itachi worried and fretted and agonized. He was mired in terrible distress. If it wasn't for fucking Donzo, you know, that motherfucker, you know, I mean, I don't know what that guy's fucking problem was, why he hated the Uchiha so much, I mean, you know, if only, you know, he had let, you know, uh, Shisui use his Koto Ama Amatsukami on, uh, you know, Itachi's father, then, you know, Things would have been different. Considered rationally, one could never raise his hand against fellow clansmen. But if the Uchiha coup d'etat were to go ahead, the village would crumble and other villages would attack. I still don't know how Danzo could, you know, beat uh, Shisui. I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, he's Shisui the teleporter. Who, you know, had, you know, not mastered the Susano, but, you know, had, you know, reached a very, well, I guess you could say he reached the same point uh, Itachi did. And, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, Donzo was weak. I mean, uh, Sasuke kicked his ass, you know, easily. All he had to do was throw some shuriken and. I don't know, squeeze him, you know, I mean, Donzo, he didn't really do much to stop, you know, Sasuke, I mean, I'd say maybe the greatest weapons that he had were either the Wind Shuriken or the uh, Baku or whatever, I mean, that was the only things that I can think of that actually posed a threat to, you know, uh, Sasuke, because the whole fight was nothing but, you know, Donzo just, you know, like, oh, uh, you know, I took some damage, but I'm still alive. Oh, I took some damage. I'm still alive. It could have easily become the trigger for the fourth Great Ninja War. I guess the curse mark was, uh, you know, a pretty good move to, you know, use one of your, you know, what do you call it, uh, Sharingans, or... To sacrifice one of your Sharingans so that way you could plant a curse mark on him. The selfish act of the Uchiha clan would lead to the deaths of many innocents. Although it failed. Avoided at all costs. And so, Itachi mm. made his decision. That he himself would drop the curtain on his own clan's history. <laughs> Which led to that night. was a mission to become known as a criminal who murdered his own clan to bear the burden of disgrace all planned it was all part of the mission Itachi brilliantly discharged the plan his mission except for a single mistake you even after he closed his heart and become a demon of destruction. There was one person, just one, whom Itachi could not kill. His little brother. Afterwards, Itachi appealed to the third Okage, beseeching him to protect you. Which, to me, I think is bullshit that, you know, the third Hokage, you know, took better care of Sasuke than he did, you know, Minato's son. I mean, what the fuck was that about? I mean, you know, you think uh, Minato was closer to, you know, I mean, well, I guess, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, both of them protected the village very well, but I mean, you know, uh, the third Hokage treated, you know, Naruto like an asshole, whereas, you know, uh, and he gave him that tiny little apartment, and then, you know, where's Sasuke, you know, he got, like, a nice apartment, you know, and, uh, I mean, 
Well, you never saw the third Okage treat him like an asshole, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like uh, you know, for some reason Sasuke was favored over Naruto. He fled the village after threatening other leaders never to harm Sasuke. He worried about you above all else. <laughs> That's a lie. It's got to be a lie. It is the truth. Lie! He tried to kill me over and over! If Hitachi really one, wanted one to kill, kill you, you would you most, most certainly, certainly be, be dead. dead. And Hitachi had a reason to pressure you. <sighs> to draw out Orochimaru you and release you of the curse mark. Itachi arranged everything about that battle. He wanted to free you of the curse mark and Orochimaru. And by having you defeat him, he wanted to set you up as the hero who avenged the Uchiha clan. I won't believe it! He's... Itachi's evil! He's a criminal! He slaughtered our clan and became an Akatsuki! was part of Itachi's plan as well. Become an Akatsuki, then spy on the organization from the inside. What's the matter, Sasuke? You mad that you found out that your entire life's purpose was a lie? Even after betraying his clan and leaving, Itachi's heart lay with a hidden leaf. And most of all, with you. It isn't a lie. He thought more of you then. Stop it! It's all a big. You're alive, aren't you? <clears throat> As a result, your eyes didn't see through Itachi at all. I mean, if he wanted you dead, he could have killed you many times in the past. Even in the fight that you just went through, he could have killed you many times. Itachi killed his friends, his superiors, his lover, his father, and his mother. But his little brother alone, he could not kill. He killed all of his own emotions, save for crying tears of blood, and slaughtered his own flesh and blood. He just couldn't bring himself to kill you. Do you understand what that means? To him, your life was more precious. Was more precious than, than even, even the, village. the village. Until the very moment of his death. No, even after he died. By allowing you to defeat him, he achieved revenge against the Uchiha clan by making you out to be the Leaf's hero. Ravaged by illness, painfully aware of his impending death, he forcefully prolonged his life with medication. He had to fight you and die in front of you. For the peace of the Hidden Leaf Village, and most of all, for you. Sasuke Chia. He desired to die a criminal and a traitor. Accepted disgrace in the place of honor and hate in the place of love. And Itachi still died with a smile on his face. He bequeathed to you the Uchiha name, still fooling you to the very end. Is the truth behind Itachi Uchiha? That is how your brother lived 